Hey, I'm Eric Siegel, and right now you're looking at my new Lionel Legacy control system that I just purchased a week or two ago. And considering that I'm not the biggest fan of Lionel's TMCC system, and that 95% of my engines are MTH, i got to say I'm very happy with the Legacy system so far. Um, of course, I don't have any Legacy engines to test the Legacy features with, but I've been using it to run my classic TMCC engines, and it's behaved perfectly. And one of the features that I'm going to demonstrate today is how you make a multi-engine lash-up using the Legacy remote. It's got a nice user-friendly interface for doing that, and it's kind of fun. So let's get started. For this demonstration, I'm going to lash up these two beautiful new MP15 DC switchers from Atlas O. They're both running classic TMCC. Like I said, I don't have any Legacy engines yet, but I'm still going to lash these up. I've got the Legacy remote here. And I'm going to power it up. Now, you'll notice that engine 7 is the Union Pacific MP15 right there. And then engine 8 is the Conrail switcher that's behind it. So I'm going to lash these two together into a single train. Now, in the instruction booklet for Legacy, they call it a lash up, but on the remote, it's called a train. So I'm going to hit this TR button. Make sure I'm on train one. And now I'm going to hit info. And I'm going to build it. So I press the build button. And I'm going to add the ID of the first engine that I want, which is the Union Pacific, which is number seven. So I'll press seven and add. And now seven's added. And now I'm going to add the Conrail engine, which is number eight. And I'll press add. And so now I've added both engines to this train. So I'm going to hit set. And now both engines are programmed in this lash up. So I'm going to hit CTC to take me back to the main menu. I'm in train one. I'm going to go ahead and turn these off so you can hear me talk. Okay. Now, for train one, I'm going to hit info again, and now I'm going to name it by hitting name. And just to be brief, I'm going to name this lash up MP15. And I'll hit next when I'm done. Then it asks you to assign a road number. I'm not sure why they do this for a lash up because there's really no official road number, so I guess I'll just make one up. If if you know if I'm doing something wrong, then let me know. But I'm just going to use the last two digits of each engine, so I'll call this 4024. And then I'm going to hit set. And now you'll see the name of the train right there, MP15. So now I'll go back to the main menu, and now I've got MP15 4024. It's in cab one mode because this is classic TMCC. I'm going to hit train one and then press the startup button right here. And there we go. This flash up's ready to go. Use the throttle wheel. And this flash up is on its way. One of the other neat things that I like about the Lash Up tool on the Legacy Remote is that it lets you edit the Lash Up really easily. You'll notice that I've switched the direction of the UP switcher right there. So to reflect that, all I do is hit Train 1, and then I'm going to hit Info and Build, and now I'm going to scroll the throttle wheel until engine 7, which is the UP switcher, is selected. And then all I do is just hit reverse, and you'll see that the icon of the train is now reversed. And all I do now is hit set. And it has programmed the change. So 
and I'll go back, hit train one, start up, and that's all there is to it. Adding another engine to the slash up is just as easy. You'll see that I've added this UPSD70 to the front of these two switchers. So on the remote, I'm going to hit train one again, press info, build, and now I'm going to hit the scroll wheel until there's a blank spot in the selected spot. And all I'll do is hit the ID of the SD70, which is six in this case and it's forward, so I'm going to leave it as forward, and then hit set. And now that's programmed in. So now if I hit train one and start it up, all three should start up. And they do. So that's how you use the LashUp tool on Legacy to build a LashUp with classic TMCC engines. When I get some Legacy trains, Later this year, I'm probably going to post some more videos on some of the cool things the legacy trains do. But for now, that's it. See you next time.